Hi guys, German Prepper here. I have for you today a number of updates on US military actions and movements worldwide, including some incredible information that you will not have heard mentioned anywhere else. The United States Department of Defense has released the latest Ukraine fact sheet that details armaments and munitions sent to Ukraine. Don't worry guys, I'm not going to read it out this time. It now covers two pages of line items. So the big news, the US has now sent 38 High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, or HIMARS, to Ukraine. This is an astounding number, and possibly more than 10% of all those made and in US hands. It is no wonder that the war in Ukraine has intensified, with the Ukrainian forces pushing back so hard. The Russian Federation is literally fighting against the US military in all but name. Two National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile Systems have been delivered to Ukraine, Pentagon Press Secretary Air Force Brigadier General Pat Ryder has announced. Ryder additionally added, The Ukrainians announced these systems will contribute to Ukraine's air defence capabilities and will help protect the Ukrainian people against Russian aerial attacks to include those conducted by unmanned aerial vehicles or cruise missiles. We continue to have an ongoing and robust dialogue with the Ukrainians, with our allies and with our partners in terms of what Ukraine's battlefield needs are. The USS Gerald Ford Carrier Strike Group is participating in exercise Silent Wolverine in the Eastern Atlantic Ocean, along with six other NATO nations. The exercise aims to enhance integrated interoperability and deterrence. The US, Canada, Denmark, Germany, France, the Netherlands and Spain are participating. The exercise will conclude November the 14th. Exercise Manabar 2022 has commenced and will be followed by scheduled exercises involving ships, aircraft and personnel from Australia, India, Japan and the United States in the Philippine Sea and off the coast of Japan. The exercise is designed to increase interoperability and to strengthen partnerships and security in the Indo-Pacific region. It will conclude November the 15th. There we are then guys, another day of the greatest military in the world readying itself to defend freedom, or perhaps to just start another war. A question for you all now to end. Do you enjoy these daily intel videos and have you considered sharing them with anyone? As always, looking forward to reading your answers. Keep prepping guys. Cheers for now.